Hey, we will work through problem 435. We're dealing with moments here. What do we have going on? We've got uh, some curved rod here. We've got an angle. We've got this angle here. We know it's this radius. The original position there at A, the ending position at B. We've got some force going in the direction from B to C. So we know the coordinates of C with this X and Y displacement. And looking at the question, what do we have? We need to find the smallest force, F, so that we can cause failure of that curved rod at point A. And that tells us here that the moment that's required to do that is a moment of 1,500 newton meters at point A. So what do we know about moments? We know that a, a moment is a vector. And it's equal to the position vector of the applied at the location of the applied force crossed with that force. Yeah. So in this case, we've got a, a couple options to do here. I'm going to take my position vector as from A to B. I'm going to call it R A B. And then my force vector, I'm going to go from B to C my force vector from B to C. So those are the, the things that we'll need to create our, our uh, solution here. So let's uh, find RAB. Uh, RAB is going to equal A sub X. Oh, excuse me. We're going to start with B, right? Our final position minus our initial position. A sub x and i plus b sub y a sub y and j plus b sub z minus uh, a sub z in k. So if we've worked that out, our x position for b is going to be Here's our x direction. So we're going to have 4 meters times the cosine 45 degrees minus a is 0 for x. For b, uh, for y, excuse me, we're going to have 4 times the sine of 45. Actually, the way I'm doing this is I'm, I'm taking this as 45 here as well. I could have put my sign and cosine along, which is what I what I did here. So I could have had, if we're taking theta here, this would have been sine in the x direction and cosine in the y direction. But they, they're the same value, so we'll keep working with this here. So in, in uh, y, we're going to have 4 sine 45. This is our y position. Oh, excuse me, y, we're going to have 0. I'm going to get rid of that. So y, we're just going to have 0 in the y direction. And then our, our then at b and at a is also 0. j, and then in the z, this is where we get that 4 sine of 45 minus our original position there was 4 k. So there's our position vector, RAB. And so if we put some numbers to that, work that out, we find RAB is going to be, so this whole thing here, 4 cosine 45, that turns into 2.828 I plus 0j, we could leave that off. And then we're going to have minus, so we have something less than 4, minus 4, so it's going to be a minus sign. And we plug that in, we find 1.172k. So that part here went into that 1.172. So there's our vector r, so our position vector. Next, we'll need a, a vector from B 
B to C. So I'll leave that there. So now we'll need a position vector from B to C for our force. So we're going to take our x position of C, which is going to be 6 meters, minus our x position in B, which we had up here is 4 cosine 45. I. And what do we have in J? We have 6. And our initial in J was 0. J plus what do we have in Z? We had um, 4 sine 45. And we're going to subtract 0 because this is at the at the xy plane, so there's no height there. Okay. So RBC then will become so this first part here. What does that become? RBC is going to be 3.172i plus 6j plus. 2.828k. So that's this section here and that goes in there. And then we'll also we're gonna need a unit vector for RBC. So we'll find the square root of this thing here. So we're gonna take each of those squared, take the square root. Does that go to that goes to RBC? So that magnitude is 7.353. So our unit vector, again, a unit vector is a vector in that direction F with a magnitude of 1. So we're going to have uh, our force F then will be the magnitude of F times our unit vector, and we'll cross that with. Position vector R A B. I'll look at this in a moment. Now, I'm just going to divide each of these terms: the 3.172, the 6, and the 0.82, all by 7.35. So then I'll have 7.172, oh, 3.172 over 7.353 i plus 6 over 7.353 j plus 2.828 over 7.353k, and that's our, our uh, unit vector from B to C, so then our force from B to C equals the magnitude of that force, FBC, times the unit vector BC. Also our moment, the vector, going to be RAB cross FBC, and then we can write that also as RAB cross F times UBC, so we can factor that F out, so M over F equals R see here R A B cross U B C and now we can get to the good stuff we can do the cross product we know some of these values so we'll fill those in so we have 1500 over F B C equals Here's our cross product. So we have I, J, and K. We're going to have RAB. So RAB, if we go back up to where we were, we see that was 2.828I, 0J, negative 1.1. K and our UBC. So 
So we just had that up a couple lines here, and I'm, I'm filling in the numbers. We had 3.2 over 10.53. We had 1.0314. My J is 0 0.816. My K is negative 0 0.3. So we can take the, the cross product here. So we, we cover up the i columns and the i, j, k row. And we take multiply this way, subtract that way. So we're going to have 0 times something is 0 minus negative 1.172 times 0 0.816. So I went this direction. I put the minus sign up front. That's i. And I like to add my column over here, so I'm going to add another i column, uh, 2.828 and 0 0.4314. So I'm going to keep a plus sign here for my j and go this direction and minus that. So I'm going to have negative 1.172. Can see there times 0 0.4314 minus I'm going this way, 2.828 times negative 0 0.3846. That's all J. And then finally, my K plus, I'm covering up the K column. We're going across this way and subtract that way. So we have 2.828, you can see there, times 0. 0.816 and going this minus minus zero because we have zero times 0.4 something and that's all k okay. so we add those up what do we end up with we get we have a negative something here so we get zero that becomes 0 0.95 or i what do we have in j so we have negative minus another negative so let's see what that is this is going to be less than one this is going to be a little more than one so we have plus 0 0.5821 j plus we have negative here positive there and what is that going to be it's going to be 2.307 Six and k. So what does that tell us so far? So if we multiply, so we have our 1,500 newton meters here divided by the magnitude of our force FBC equals this thing. So that tells us the direction and the sort of magnitude of our moment. So. Now we'll need to find the magnitude of this thing. So we're going to take the square root of that, all those terms squared. 821 squared plus 2.3076 squared. The moment, uh, the magnitude of that thing becomes 2.5648. So then we have 1,500 newton meters equals 2.5648 FBC. So there's really a, a unit of meters here. So our FBC, now we can just divide by 2.564. 1,500 newton meters. Divided by 2.5648. What does that go to? Our force then, our magnitude is 584.8 newtons. The three significant figures, FBC is 585 newtons. So there's our answer. So does that make sense? We've got a distance of our, uh, our position vector. It's what we had RBC. Uh, that 
was our direction from our applied force, our position vector. So this is our moment arm here. This thing here is our moment arm from R A to B. So a moment of rut A is that thing. Uh, that's our moment arm, and then we're applying that force. Uh, that, that seems to make sense since uh, 2.82 squared is going to be about 9. This is going to be about 1, so we're taking a third of that. So it's what about a factor of 2 or 3. And actually, if we come down here, we see that that factor actually comes out here as 2.5648. Uh, and there's our actual value. So that all seems to make sense.